Hi, it's Jim Nealon, liturgical guitarist, and we're going to um, put up a fifth arrangement today, and maybe a sixth. We're still a little bit into Lent here, so I'll try and get one, maybe two Lenten arrangements, and then it'll be time to think ahead for Holy Week and Easter. So I'm looking at my arrangement of Lord Who throughout these 40 days. There are three sections in this. Um, the first, which is repeated at the last, is my favorite section. And it uses a lot of the um, little devices that I, 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 it combines several devices that I use in arranging. Um, starts out in the first measure here with uh, just a melody over a drone in the mid voice, like I did in my last verse of uh, uh, at, the, at the cross or station keeping. So. Situation like, situation like that, you want to keep the upper voice louder than the middle voice, or the, the drone. And then I go a melody over a bass run. And the E chord, with a little suspension in there. And then I do thirds over a drone. And then sixths drone in the middle, like stations, and then and a lot of times on the, the final chord of each of these um, versions, I like to drop the, um, the um, C sus4 with my little finger on the F on the third fret of the fourth string, instead, so instead of do and then the F and then open G and then end on the fourth string second fret the E and, okay so anyway so that all together would sound something like this not to go ah when you make a mistake but as I told you I'm no virtuoso so um, some of these arrangements I would need to practice quite a bit to play the next version and actually it dawned on me this morning if you wanted it would be real easy to put a simple uh, single line thing before that I would probably do it in the bass That was just me looking for the right note. <laughs> You'll figure that out yourself. Now the next version, I've got an inner voice. This is measure 10. Um, and I've got a moving bass line under the melody. So it's a little more difficult, but... Places there, I grab the thumb. You can do it without it. Let's see. Right there, you can go. So use your first finger there instead of the thumb. If you're a purist, uh, measure 15. Next to the last measure at the bottom of the page. You could do that. And then come down with your first finger on the bass, second finger on the C, and then jump over to that G sus4. Okay. 
Okay, so that's that version. Then at the top of page two, we've got number three. This is a, a chord melody version. And if I get up um, Parche Domine today, um, you'll see a, a, an even nicer version of this, uh, simpler. Anyway, this style is block chords, just like a, a old Southern Baptist hymnal piano part. Um, and a couple of chords that you'll need to get familiar with if you're not already. The at the start here, the, the, it starts on a C. For most of these, you're playing with four four fingers. And and as you notice, I've got a finger pick on my third finger here. That's giving me a little difficulty, but I broke that nail. And I'm trying this technique. I customized this finger pick, and it's it's better than nothing. And it's sometimes easier than using all four finger picks. But um, anyway. So that's my excuse if I make a mistake here is, is, is I'm working on something new here on the right hand. So C chord, and then a G, sus4, and then this going from this change to this G7 over B, you'll want to practice that until you have that chord change real handy. I missed it. So keep your second finger here and your little finger right ready to go over. So they're real close there. Second finger should be, and you might have that down already if you're used to playing your G7 or G in, in with everything down. Classical guitarists get a little more used to putting down only the fingers that they need. So anyway, so starting again, C and the G sus4, G7 over B, C, C over E. Now this is just a three note chord, the D minor over F, and then another G7 variation over uh, a B, and you get the D up here in the melody, and then C. So that's the first phrase. And it takes a lot of practice to get those chords smooth. Other, um, you want, them to, you want to make those changes legato. This is the hardest um, variation in this. So, uh, try and get those so that they flow. And that will take a lot of practice if, if you're not used to doing this kind of playing. And then the second one, um, the last measure of, measure would be measure 20, 21. Last beat, the C chord repeats again. Then we go to the measure 22, the D minor, and then a C over E, and A minor, and then that G7 over B again, like we saw the measure before, and then an E chord. And it's a full E chord. You could either you could either brush it with your thumb or brush the first three, and then arpeggiate the last with your fingers. However you choose to do that. But you can't play all six at once, obviously, because you only have four fingers to play with here. Thumb and three fingers, anyway. So somehow, that chord. Then, the, the last chord in that uh, top line is just a, a, a force note E chord, E over B, it should be written. I didn't write that in. And then, starting on measure 24, the second line on page two. A C, D minor, E minor, E minor, everything's open there. Then the next measure, 25, F would be, um, and then a G7. This is another one of those variations of a G7 that you're gonna have to learn. If you're only used to playing a G7 like this, there's a lot of other ways you can play it down here in this first position. So study that chord and, and get that down. And then this C. And then the next one is a C over E. I don't think I wrote that in, but you'll notice the bass note drops down on that to lead you into the F, uh, add the sixth, and then an F with the open A bass, and then the G, sus4, just like the first chords, G over B, G7, G7 over B. So, um, again, you can also play this with the barring instead of the thumb if you're a purist. So starting at measure 24, uh, the second line on that page. No, start again. So bar. 
arm. Turn a flip, a flip of the wrist like this, bring the wrist out, it'll get you to that G7 easy. And then C, C with the open E, then bar again. And then the F over A. So that whole section together would sound something like this, hopefully. in another arrangement about breaking up the um, the arpeggiating and and the block chord so sometimes you're going to play all four at once and then sometimes you arpeggiate and that's just rolling these fingers you get the same kind of sound as if you were to drag the thumb across but you can do that with the fingers. Some people, if they haven't done that before, that takes a little practice. Like I told you, I have Tourette's. I was always the nervous little kid tapping my fingers on the desk. So I'm real good at rolling my fingers. Um, let's see. But, and then the, that's, that's it. The last one is simply the same as the first. Um, so that is Lord Who Throughout These 40 Days. And again, <clears throat> you can find these through my Scorch Exchange, uh, the arrangements website. You can play it on the computer, you can slow it down, you can slow the tempo down on the playback, so you, uh, you can practice right along with it, and you can also print these out. Okay, that's it for today, or for this one. You see the snow out there in Omaha? <laughs>